Fortunate. Should I just start recording then? Yeah, go ahead. All right. Well, a bit, bit of a bit of a bummer to start off the episode, but yeah. Well, I thought we said we weren't gonna say anything. Oh, um, sorry. Uh, what was I talking about? I was talking about how uh -huh. um, I was talking about how Obama lost the Pepsi challenge. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> what? Oh wait. Oh wait. Are you talking about the uh, trash we played the other day? No, I'm, I'm making shit up. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, but like you, you remember that shit, right? What shit? When like we had we we were we were playing trash and like one of us was playing as Captain Falcon and someone else was playing as uh as uh Obama. Yeah. <laughs> Obama. Oh yeah, Pe Pepsi Man and Obama. <laughs> the epic duel. Oh yeah, right. I need to um I need to do Mega Thwonk. I need to kill uh this chain chomp. Oh yeah, so Rabid Luigi uploaded a new video today talking about his favorite fake game overs in games. And uh, uh Guess is the dream, is the dream team one on there? Exactly, that's why I wanted to talk about it. The dream team fake game over popped up. And yeah, <laughs> nice. I wanted to bring Do that. Where the dream team fake game over is? Where you have to, you, it's where Martin and Luigi drink from a fountain, and then they um. Yeah, and like it's completely optional too. Oh, I don't remember it being optional. That's that's kind of funny. At least I'm pretty sure it's optional. <laughs> like you can skip by the fountain and and just go go right on. That makes it a lot funnier. <laughs> okay. okay. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, I'm honestly amazed at how well um, GTA went today. Yeah. Like, that's, just, that's the most fun I had with that game in a while. True. Okay, oh yeah, you weren't there, you weren't there, Aaron, but you wanna know what the funniest thing that happened was today in GTA? What happened? So, okay, so for reference, we're, we're playing, we're playing co-op in GTA San Andreas. And, um, so basically, I was player two, because Seb is player one. He's been player one the whole time, obviously. Makes sense. You wanna know who player two is? Who? <laughs> Big Smoke. <laughs> oh my god, is that real? Yes, yes. I I, oh, I, 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 I went I went into the text file of the of the like the any and I changed the, the text to to make me play as Big Smoke. <laughs> and because there's there's options for just normal NPCs and special NPCs, and what do you know, Big Smoke is the first special NPC in that list. So even the designers knew how we'll great Big Smoke. Probably the same thing, honestly. Yeah. So oh, what's in here? I was I was going around playing as Big Smoke, and the funny thing is, is with that multiplayer mod, um, what am I trying to say? The um. The game doesn't react very well to big smoke interacting with things. <laughs> so whenever when you're trying to um like basically big smoke he can't start story triggers and he can't <laughs> he can't interact with a lot of the story events. So he's mostly just like he's just kind of there <laughs> and it's really funny. Oh, so it's like Fabio. Kinda, yeah. <laughs> That's a good way of looking at it. Yes, hello chat member. And the Mexican is gone. <laughs> oh god, no. Where does Seb go? I'm still here. He's, uh, he's, ah. he's listening to me talk about how well GTA went. Oh. Even though he was, he was fucking said... there, he knows. Yeah, I know yeah. how great it went. But no, the best part of the whole episode, James gonna make it a clip later. But, uh, basically what happened was, there was a, there was a bit where you had to wear a gimp outfit and go, uh, you know, bang a girl or whatever. And yeah, which by the way, I don't know what a gimp, I don't know what a gimp outfit is, but <laughs> we had to wear yeah, it. Basically, basically, what happened was oh god, because I'm not explaining that shit. Because the cutscene like plays. Well, here's like, because, like, the thing that happens outside the house. By the way, they changed homes have 500. Wait, 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 hold on. 
Yo, I got the counterware DX. Let's fucking go. You did? Yes. Two percent chance, guys. Two percent. Is it better than the masterware? No, it's for Paper Mario. It's his best gear. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Look at those stat increases. Actually, uh, Sad, do you want me a screen share? No, I'm good. No, okay. Look at that. I get plus 5 pow, plus 10 defense, plus 10 speed, and plus 25 stash. It does lower my HP and BP, though, but honestly worth it. I mean, Paper Mario doesn't really need either of those stats at this point in the game. Well, right. BP maybe, but I have the trio ring, no, he so... he doesn't. He has the trio ring, so what's the point? <laughs> Anyways, oh, no. uh, yeah, continue on with the GTA. <laughs> there is no point. So, basically, you're in a game outfit and you gotta get the thing in a girl. But because of the way of the cutscene, it plays outside, it places big smoke outside. But the cutscene, like, started in the house. So, from our perspective, it just kind of looks like they got sick of big smoke being there, so they kicked him out. <laughs> no, that's not the funny part. The funny part is that when Big Smoke got inside, and the thing is, Big Smoke isn't affected by cutscenes, so he can run around while the cutscene is active. And what he did, or what I did, was... <laughs> I can't even explain. Okay, Alright, okay, right, gotta keep going. So, before you enter the house, you're basically just stalking her. You're just waiting for, like, a gimp to enter, and you're gonna replace that gimp. So you beat up and kill the Gimp, and he has a dildo as a weapon. Yeah. So we get we have a dildo, so we pick it up, and now we have a dildo as a weapon. <laughs> yeah. So Jacob oh, is just walking around beating the girl with the with the thing. Yeah. So to to, <laughs> to basically sum it up, uh, Big Smoke was beating the shit out of this one with a dildo. <laughs> Because they still react, even though they're part of the cutscene, like, they still react to you doing things, so... Yeah. You can beat her up, and then you can still, like... Yeah, it was so like, funny. Right. And so I kept beating the shit out of her with the dildo, and then it transitioned to Big Smoke being outside the house. So it was like he got kicked out. I mean, that, I mean that's kind of similar, because, like, I have a mod in, in Smash Bros. that replaced... There are places the home run bat with a giant purple dildo. Oh, great. <laughs> I mean, again, it only shows up in like spirit battles and shit, but still pretty funny. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah that, that was definitely Another like great the highlight. Thing. Yeah, plus we also realized pretty quickly that you're just kind of useless. I because am. Here's the thing. So for the first mission, what we had to do is we had to take a truck and run it over boxes of dynamite to pick up the dynamite. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, okay, Jacob, I'll run over the box, you go pick up the dynamite. But Jacob couldn't do it for some reason. Like, he, they don't let Big Smoke pick up the dynamite. So yeah. I'm like, okay, fine, Jacob, you get in the, we switch, get in the vehicle, run over the box, and I'll pick up the dynamite. Jacob gets in the car, he's driving over the boxes. Apparently, he can't run over the box. It doesn't register. Yeah. So Big Smoke can't do anything except for kill guards. <laughs> One good thing about the mod is that, like, it gives me, like, a good control back. Like, I can use the triggers, I can... I mean, yeah, that is an upside, I guess. Well, that that's just, um, that's not even part of the multiplayer mod. That's just, like, the better oh. controls mod that I installed. So, that's pretty great, honestly. Okay, I need to wait this out. Oh, damn, it. what a tip. Oh, that that paper chain chomp is no more. No, that's not as tight as I thought it would be. So ne next up, I need to try and kill a normal chain chomp and try and get the POW gloves DX, which okay. is even harder. Okay, okay, okay. Mario's level thirty-four. Mario's thirty-four. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'll see. Anyway. Wait, Aaron, you missed another funny GTA moment. Did I? Yeah, so basically oh, hey, for a mission here. So for a mission what we had to do was we had to get into a plane as it is it flying, right? We have to kill all Did the guards. Did you find the powers? No, no, no. They, 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 this is 2004, Aaron. They don't have that yet. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? It happened three years ago. Fair. But, um, basically, so... We get in the plane and, you're, and one of the guards has a parachute and you're supposed to make the parachute jump out and glide down with parachute. We didn't do that, however. We decided, no, that's too easy. So what we did was we just let it happen. And 
we jumped out without a parachute. And it, it cuts to a still frame of a car, and then CJ falls onto the car. <laughs> oh yeah, that is, I also love that moment. I find it extra funny because I because Jacob made it a highlight, and when I checked the comments, somebody was like, "You idiot! You're supposed to pick up the parachute. How did you not figure that out?" <laughs> yeah, and he didn't know that it was actually a bit. <laughs> like we were trying to do that intentionally. Yeah. Oh, one with, with creases there, I guess. The only enemy I have left to, um... The only enemy I have left to kill is the, um... The Mecha Koopas. I haven't even seen any in battle yet. And I'm really bad at this deck, I, 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 I went to the right first. I don't, I, don't, I don't know if they only appear in, like, the left or right areas. Um... They're they're near the end of the castle and they're also um like in this section right here that I'm in after the first bridge piece. I might kill some of the Mecha Koopas though to make this a little easier. I don't know if they have a I don't know if they have a gimmick like the Mecha Koopa or like the sombrero Fuck. guy where they run away if there's like only a few of them. Fuck. I also don't know if okay, each individual mecha Koopa is one attack or multiple. <laughs> oh, we'll, we'll find out. <laughs> well, and the problem well, is... I'll, I'll grab that later. I don't think there are any in this area right now. Okay, I'm fine with this. <laughs> I'm oh, fine with the circumstances <laughs> that Kate has put upon me. I'm fine with, um... The Mecha Koopas, you know, just doing whatever. Okay, that attack yeah. isn't too bad. Well, some of the Mecha Koopas attack together, and I don't know, it's just kind of confusing. One second. No, I fucked it up. God damn it. Okay, that's it. I'm killing one of the Mecha Koopas. Right oh no, Paper Mario. Paper Mario's not doing too good. I got some refreshing herbs, though. It's okay. Yep. Maybe I should suck up with some of those. Oh, boomerang, bro. His ass is on fire. Oh, God. Snooky Goombas are back. For one room. <laughs> wow. Yeah, let's try to get co coins up so I can get the Masterware for Luigi before the final boss. Mm, yeah, that's not a bad idea. Yeah, at least Peter Mario can dodge that attack easily. Okay, that's that's two attacks so far. Damn. Ultra nut. <laughs> <laughs> Ultra nut. Okay. So here's oh, the drive ones are back too. Oh, the Mega Koopas do not run away if there's only one of them. Okay, that's gonna make this a oh. lot easier. Okay. See, that's the great thing, is you can you can completely cheese the system by leaving just one enemy alive. <laughs> True. There we go, Mega Koopa dodge. Wasn't too bad. Damn, 517. 517 what? Experience? Da damn, it's from a bomb derby on one of the paper dry bones. Oh, <laughs> that makes sense. Well, there's 10 more, uh, 10 more levels left, I think, before Rainbow Rank. Perfect bro gloves. Those sound pretty good. Perfect bro gloves? What do they do? Um, make bros tax take cost zero BP as long as you haven't taken damage. Hmm. Oh, as long as you haven't taken damage, though, that's... It's the perfect POW gloves, but for using BP for free. <laughs> kind of like Mario's Master Gloves. Well, not really, actually. Yeah, but the Master Gloves are better. They're better. But that's, that's an interesting, like, gloves if you don't have the thing. Regular chain chumps have 484 and paper have 557. Yeah, that's pretty much what I thought. They have they have, they have quite a lot. They have like the most health out of any enemy in the game, which is really stupid. 
Normal anime, at least. Yeah, normal anime. They have more health than PD Piranha does. But, but regular or boss ring? Uh, boat? Actually, not. I don't know about boss ring, but definitely the regular one. <laughs> and they definitely have more than the Pokies early on as well. Bundling boots? DX? Ooh, those are good. Are well, they better than what I have now, though? Debatably. I have the Comet boots. They're debatably better than the Comet boots. I kind of wish I... Actually, wait, no. Right, yeah. I did, right, I did, there's something I forgot to tell everybody. So off screen, I was doing a bunch of um, expert challenges. And uh, also, I, I have 100% in dodging now. <laughs> That's another thing I gotta mention. Yeah. So what I wanted to bring up was that um, I got enough expert challenge points to where I can buy the expert boots and the expert hammer for Paper Mario. And the great thing, the interesting thing is that the expert boots don't show up until you have like 95% of the expert challenges completed, which is really weird. They right. locked it behind that. But basically the description says increases by one the number of paper jumps you can pull off at a time. So when you have max copies, you do 11 jumps instead of 10. In addition, it also in, it also has 20 more attack power than the Comet boots. Oh. Ah. So... What do you get that? When I was on, on the... Except I showed you. You get it by beating like pretty much all the expert challenges. You get it in the shops. Well, well here's my thing would be... Do they make it so that like you can afford every single one if you complete all the challenges? Yes. Oh, okay, that's like, they don't do that, it's kind of evil, they gotta pick which ones you want, and if you can't do it, you're oh. stuck. <laughs> more than, more than, they have more, more than Ray, Roy and Wendy. At least the first version of Roy and Wendy, not the second version. Oh, okay, that is gonna be a tough jump to make. Well, we're already half done the bridge. No, I'm trying to figure, figure out how to get this ball bomb over quickly enough. <laughs> um... I figured it. there's like a path for it. This bob on. I, I don't think I've gone over to see that bob on yet. Oh boy, more saw blades. What is this? Wendy's Castle from Super Mario World? Maybe. Yeah, sounds like my, my, my World 6 tower in Mario Maker. <laughs> yeah, still can't wait to play that when that gets finished. Ah, uh, that's probably not getting finished for quite a long time. <laughs> you're lazy, I mean, I am you're lazy fuck. When is that gonna get finished? Two, two, two more day, I think. Probably never. Uh, yeah, probably. <laughs> Wait probably a minute, never. can you even play those without online? I don't know. <laughs> I could probably, I mean, yeah, that's, that's what I'm wondering. Is there a way I can, like... Um, I don't know. <laughs> okay, cool. We're halfway there. Hmm. I do have an idea. For what? You can dump your save with all the levels and give it to me. <laughs> and then I, we could play it on. We could play it on the Switch 10. Ooh, I haven't actually dumped any of my save, save files yet. I'll have to figure out how to do that. Uh, there's a program for it. I, I forgot what it's called. It's called like, um, I don't know. It's like JKSB or something weird like that. Some weird name. Okay, I'll do that later. Yeah, but that's how I was able to dump um my my Smash Ultimate save data. Nice. Cool. Uh oh, big boat over here. <laughs> Ow. No, Mario, Paper Mario tripped. Oh, he's fine. Wait, like, Paper Mario has more speed than Luigi now. That's weird. Yeah, so does mine. Ugh, I, I, hate, I hate the turn order in this game. It's so weird. <laughs> That's something oh, that, I... That, that, that might change it. That a... might actually change. Depending on when I get Luigi the Master where. That's at least something I won't have to worry about when I play, um, <laughs> Brothership when it comes out. 
Won't have to worry about weird turn orders. Man, it, it's it's honestly like offensive how strong Trio Shuriken is. Yeah. Alright, I need to get. How is it offensive? <laughs> it is. It's just it's just offensive. <laughs> I can't believe this game performed so badly, Luigi. We could have been put out of business. Especially because this is a good game. How could it perform that bad? Woo! Because no one cared about cheating crossovers, man. Did I really mess up the freaking me expert mega thwonk at the end? It's okay, like, we're at the end of the game, so I don't mind. Oh, what the fuck, Shy Guy? Nate, I mean, Bildor. I mean, I mean, you mean, just save stick. I'm not save staying, bro. It breaks my texture pack. <laughs> How uh, does it break yeah. Don't ask why. I don't I don't know why it does that either. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, in certain, in certain Wii games, save states will fuck up the Mii's faces. Ooh, that is a weird- that's some weird timing. You're well, weird. I gotta um, fuck off. <laughs> I, I gotta, I gotta do, um, I gotta do the mega thwonk, um, timing all over again. But I'm, I'm good at, I'm decently good at mega thwonk. Like it's Why a fun. So move. I'm not. I think the funniest thing is that they literally just reused the giant Luigi model from Dream Team and like, hey, we got the, we have this left over. Let's make it a bros attack. Wait, what happened? Like because Mega Thwonk is literally- it's literally just the giant Luigi model from Dream Team, repurposed into yeah, a bros attack. Well, they're resources. They're like, you don't have to make a whole new model for it. Well, who cares? If it's, a, if it's the best bros attack in Mario and Luigi, then who cares? They got away with it, like, hella well. I know, it's- I, I don't know, it's just so cool, I love it. I don't know why I, I love the fact that they just said, like, Yeah, let's make Dreamy Luigi, like, a bros attack. Except it's not Dream of Luigi, it's just Mega Luigi, which is way less cool, but whatever. Oh, okay, now, now the Luigi well, one level I mean, higher. I don't know what you want. He's, a, he's, actually, he's actually faster than Paper Mario. Or when Paper Mario gets, gets, gets a level up, he's gonna be faster than Luigi again. Well, yeah, that's the thing, is you can't, you can't, you can't change how the bros' stats work. <laughs> well, my thing, you're saying that Mega Luigi is less cool than uh, the other one. Like, I'm not sure what you expected, bro. <laughs> of course he's gonna be less cool. Yeah, it's not dreamy Luigi. It's like, gay Luigi. Yeah, but like, there's no other way to get around it. How do you want to incorporate dreamy Luigi into a bros attack? Hmm. Yeah. Right. Also, um, I don't think that works. Actually, wait, I have an I have an idea. What if I like what if I'm like all the way over here? Okay, so you you get pushed out like a certain distance. That's kind of weird. <laughs> For being the giant Luigi, it seems kind of weaker than it should be. I don't know if you, that that fucking hammer of that hammer sling feels really powerful if you ask me. It does if you get Why an can't actual. Why this age is classic Sonic? It's just like really fucking difficult though. Ooh, the, 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 this this platform is like really out of sync. It's weird. Okay. Fuck. <laughs> I hate how out of sync this is, it's so weird. And the frickin' saw blades are in the way, too. <laughs> there we go. My question is, I need to figure out how to get up there. And not have the saw blades be in the way. Why did you say they like, not have the saw blades be in the way? Because they are. They are in the way. I'm trying to get on Jacob, top. Have you ever? I'm trying to get on top of this pumpkin pie sandwich in between metal. Hey Jacob, have you ever watched Hell's Kitchen? Uh, no, yeah. but I I have the funny stinger from it. <laughs> A stinger. The one where it's like. <laughs> I have that on my soundboard. Nice. All right, what what is this block? It better be worth it. Angel wear? Oh, hey, it's Nate Bildorf again. I've never heard of Angel wear. Is that any good? Probably not. Well, it's not probably not better than what you I have. I mean, the Angel, Angel Devil is, is, is hella cute. 30 no HP. Homo. Doubles your defense when you have low HP. So it's last stand as a, as a, a gear. Good to know. <laughs> is that a good thing? Eh, 
but kind of. But mm, it doesn't give you, it, it it doesn't give you all the stat buffs that um everything else has. Like you know, Masterware gives you like plus five to every other stat. So yeah. <laughs> Luigi's gay. Oh yeah, Luigi is gay for Prince Peasley. Never forget. <laughs> <laughs> And I remember, I remember in uh, Superstar Saga Hard Mode, um, Peasley was like, yeah, get violated, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> well, sorry, it's not it's yeah, not, it's not Prince Peasley in that, it's He-Man. <laughs> Why? I don't know. I always thought he, I always thought funny. he, I always thought he looked like He-Man. I don't know what He-Man looks like. He, he, he's, uh, he's buff, and he's, he, I, he's I got blonde me, hair. I've made me up, yeah. Holy shit, 800 damage to a paper bruiser. Wait, wait, what do you mean you don't know what he looks like? He's literally in Jacob's Tomodachi life, I don't You think I pay attention to what Jacob does with Tomodachi life? Yeah. Okay, that, that's fair. I haven't watched the latest episode. But... I can't- I want to watch the latest episode. I just want to watch the part where Jacob gives me some burrow. <laughs> well, do you also want- do you also want to watch the part where I out, uh, Bin Laden? The latest episode. Thank you for <laughs> understanding oh, my demands. Yeah, the fact that you could even have a song with Bin is, is fucking awesome. Yeah. Well, how would you put it? And me being surprised with Sander Anja is very fitting. <laughs> yeah, somehow, somehow of all me's, you became friends with Sander Armstrong. I don't, I don't know. Kind of funny. Yeah, it's okay. I'm not trying to Reggie. Yeah, <laughs> well, Reggie's way cooler than Armstrong. So, why well, is being friends with Reggie a bad thing? Uh, never said Reggie's a bad thing. Reggie's great. But Aaron, no, Aaron was like, at least you have that. I'm friends with Reggie. Like that's a bad thing. <laughs> no, that's that's a good thing. Yeah, Armstrong, Armstrong, and Reggie are both great, but Reggie's cooler. I mean, he's literally, uh, he's literally, he's literally friends with a, you know a, a, a former uh, Nintendo president. That's pretty badass. How did Reggie like? Drop out from that. This is just the former Nintendo president we're talking about. You know, you, know, you know the Mii Fighter trailer, right? Oh yeah, he. Who fucked with that guy? <laughs> <laughs> why? But why did Reggie resign? Oh no! Oh, oh no, Luigi! You're almost oh, dead. Man, the back. Luigi, you're gonna get cancer. Jacob, remind me why Reggie uh, resigned. Um, I don't know. I don't know, honestly. He wants to play Animal Crossing on his Nintendo 3DS. <laughs> <laughs> he 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 was he was he's just ready for retirement. He wanted to do something else. <laughs> that's pretty much. Him. That's that's Gives him more time for gaming. That's about all I can really think of. Max no, Nerd. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds really bad out of context. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob, not in public. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Anyway, last week. <laughs> anyway, last week, Jacob found the cure to cancer. Oh, you don't better not say that. The CIA is gonna come after you. I thought games done quick's gonna come yeah, after me. Why are they gonna uh, come after you? Then you got a nut to the max? Oh man, I haven't needed to heal much recently. Like, I almost- I never heal in boss fights. Like, I always just kill the boss before they kill me. <laughs> and if Jacob. the boss does kill me, then I just use a 1-up. <laughs> oh, I got from the, from the boozer. Chris, oh, it's crystal boots. Yeah, it's just crystal boots, bro. Like, I don't know if those are, are good. good. What did you want me to do, Seven? Well, what was I gonna say? You, you said- Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. What are we gonna do with our next tier list? Mm. I don't know. That's the tough one because Aaron's oh, not gonna be free in the middle of the week That's anymore. Funny. Well, I got I got a comment from a guy. He said he wants me to do um. He said he wants me to do a fucking Smash Universe tier list. I don't nope, like. I don't, nope. I don't like. You if that's something we're doing. Don't even bother calling me for that one. Well, and I just told him like. Okay, if if you're gonna make me do that, then I need I need the the tier list. I'm not making one. <laughs> I mean, this game can be harder. I definitely find this game a lot harder than um, some of the other Mario Luigi games. 
Also, you know what I find like super Wait, what games super stupid? Are harder than Super Saga. What games do you think are easier than this? Uh, Dream Team. I feel like Bowser's Inside Story. Dream Team's easier I than this game, in my opinion. Title. What? Really? Well, as a kid, I guess. And I don't know. I think Super Star Saga is the easiest. And then Bowser's Inside Story is also. Well, I it think depends. the final boss kind of bumps up the difficulty for Super Sa Saga for like a lot. True. Oh, yeah. Well, I would say the same about Fighters in Time as well. Fighters in Time's pretty tough. I I, I I, think that was the hardest Mario Luigi game I ever played. Yeah, but like a lot of the boards attacks are like fucking infinite, you know? Well, that's, also, right. that's also kind of boring. <laughs> I heard that people actually don't like the fact that all the bros attacks are infinite in that game. Oh shit. Am I supposed to take the boost pads with the, um, with the bomb? I can't tell. Maybe? I don't know. Oh yeah, you can. Oh, but you don't want to fall off like a dumbass. Come on, Jacob. <laughs> oh, here's the Mecha Koopas. Yeah, you found them. And there's five of them. Wait, Aaron, did you go left to start off the episode? <laughs> yeah, I did. Oh, wow, that's cool, because I went right. <laughs> come on, come on, make it. <laughs> Alright. And... Hey, can I see a What's up? Reading's a better game. Sonic Generations or Sonic Unleashed? I haven't played either, so I can't really say much about that. Yeah, I don't, I don't play fucking Sonic games. Okay, well, Aaron, you just have a strong hate boner for Sonic at all. Oh, yeah, it's not a strong- Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Thanks for getting more shit to cut out. <laughs> So, Aaron, why? Yes. <laughs> yeah, what do you mean, yes? Yes. Yes! You can't just el elaborate. Tricking! Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, Luigi. Yeah, exactly. Completely different. <laughs> um, I'm gonna click X to doubt on that one. Alright, let's see. Alright, here's the last trick, please. All right, come on, come on, make it, make it, make it. Please, please, Mario, fuck. Jacob, what's your favorite final boss? In Mario Luigi or in general? Or in any game. Mario Luigi. Um... Mario Luigi? Uh... Probably like Dark Browser. I know that's kind of cliche, but still. I feel like, for me, it's like a two-horse race between oh. Dark Bowser and then the... and then the Mecha Bowser from this game. I only like the final boss in this game because of the music. <laughs> That's the only reason why I rank it so high. So, you, do you even remember the fight? Um, I know Bowser does some pretty cool yes. shit. That's about it. He d he does. But like, I do think the, the most memorable one is that it's that like he fucking uh, is like he stopped me from using the trio ha hammer if if his head is still on. I remember him having a fucking that badass- I remember, I like I remember the tap would get him to progress. I remember him having a badass arm cannon, and that's about it. <laughs> oh yeah, I do remember that attack too. Yo, it's the funny- the funny- the legend- the most legendary enemy in all of gaming. The big tail Goomba. <laughs> Sam, it's your favorite enemy. He's back. Oh yeah. <laughs> and he's still tanky. Never mind, oh. he died. I killed all of them with a bomb derby. And Tasma, I wouldn't really consider a final boss. But. Nah, not really. I mean, isn't Dreamy Bowser the definitive final boss? Um, yeah, he is. He is. It, it, well, people. Oh, always... Dreamy Bowser is the final boss of the real one. I'd say Antanva is kind of the final boss of the boom world. Yeah, that's what people people always I'm make much, that. that I think that's just stupid, in my opinion, to do that. I don't know, I think it's pretty cool. Well, I think, here's my thing, I think, as a concept, Dreamy Bowser is probably the coolest one, but he's, like, probably the easiest final boss in all of these games. Dreamy Bowser's mm. the easiest? Yeah. I found him a little, I, I found him a little No, I think is the easiest. Well, if we're talking without challenge metal, then Dark Bowser's probably the easiest. 
Yeah. Seriously, you think Dark Bowser is easy? Dark Star and Dark Bowser are really fucking piss easy if you're not using Challenge Metal. Would you say they're easier in the original game or the remake? In the remake. The remake was, like, actually brain dead. <laughs> what about the Superstar Saga remake? Now that is actually- Ooh, I got, a, got the whore drop from the paper chomp. You got the counter too? Bet. I'd, ar I'd argue that the remake is harder. Idea. I'd argue the remake Please. is harder because you can't cheese it with the mush badge. <laughs> oh yeah, because they nerfed the hell out of the mush badge, but the Opal badge is still better to use, I think. Yeah. Anyways, Even um... though, like... Here's oh. my thing. People, like, say that the remake is, like, piss easy until you get to Bowser's Castle, and then it just randomly bumps up the difficulty. It, it does. I mean, that's how it should be. By the way... Well, we... I, mean, we're, we're, I, mean, I mean, Mr. Krabs was a bit of a challenge, but other than that, yeah. Mr. Krabs is piss easy. They made it so you don't, you don't even have to hit his hand anymore. You can just go for the head straight away. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, but, like, he's... He's he's fairly tough for that game at least. Okay, so I did the entire bridge section in thirty-seven minutes. Yeah, I I just got got back got back there after using the pipe. I mean, I'm I'm fighting the date build or sand chomps right now, but there's like a few enemies before the bridge, so I'm gonna use them for small exp. Yeah, so I think we will finish this game today. Oh hello, random. Uh, oh god, Peach is missing an eye. What happened? Yo, it's more in the character with the best character arc. Smash the cannon before time runs out. What the fuck do you mean the cannon? Oh, that's right. They have a little mini game where there's a cannon at the front of the castle, so you have to retreat all the way back. What the shit, that's mate? That's fucking stupid. And why am I fighting that's Goombas? They run time. Oh yeah, they force enemies down your throat. Like you gotta like avoid enemies. Like sometimes they force you to fight. This is actually dumb. <laughs> Holy. You hate this already? Yes, because there's another enemy gauntlet at the end of the castle, so there's two enemy gauntlets. I mean, at least I'm getting free experience. Wait, but what did I say? What did I say, chat member? I don't know. Read, well, what do you say? What does the chat member he say? He says, what do you mean, smash? I didn't say anything about smash. Oh yeah, you did. I, I, I... Well, yeah, yeah, you're talking about uh, Smash, Smash Universe, right? You mean yeah, Smash Universe. <laughs> anyway, I, I, was, I was talking about I was talking about how Morn has the best character arc. <laughs> we know how he does like literally. I mean, he, in this he game. does have a, de a decent character arc in uh, oh, Smash the Cannon for the Presidents of Story remake. I will give him. I will, I will give him that. Oh, Morn doesn't <laughs> yeah, have a Smash the Cannon. Arc. Dude, Morn's character arc is isn't a character arc. It's just he's just part of Bowser Jr.'s character arc. Wow. Okay, that's fair. Bowser Jr. is a little Literally shit. The only Morton's cool. Who had a character arc is Bowser Jr. Well, I mean, how the hell does Kirsty have a character arc? She doesn't. <laughs> yeah, it's the neat part. She doesn't. Huey, Huey <laughs> yeah, doesn't I'm have. Still, I'm still ripping on Sticker Star. I mean, Huey doesn't have much of a character either, but at least he's way more charming. Yeah, he's like actually. Ooh, the, the difference is that he's likable. He's likable. Yeah. And he, like, um, actually comes in handy to the final battle. Does Olivia yeah. have like, a character? Like, you literally beat, beat Bowser without using Kirsty. I mean... There's a YouTube video of it. I don't know if Olivia has a character arc, but she's at least very, um, charming. She yes, like... she is. And she, and she made her way into Smash Ultimate. That's scary, crazy. so... Oh, wait, I think Huey did, too. Yeah, I, I seem to remember Huey being in that game. And yet, Kirsty never made it. Yep, see. But the fucking sticker star um, level got into the smash as a stage. Yeah. Because uh, they put they, this for the Paper Mario representation smash, they decided to put two levels from sticker star and one level from uh, and one level from TTYD, which is really bad representation of Paper Mario. Like, I don't know why- well, I mean, TTYD is the best game of Mario. Hello? 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 It's like, yeah, Paper Mario is definitely just TTYD and Sticker Star. There's no other games in the series. Definitely not. Nope. I mean, no, yeah, sir. I mean, yeah, Paper I mean, Mario never- I mean, 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 I
how many fucking music tracks are there, are there for pa Paper Mario series by default? Like two? Three? Yeah, like two. <laughs> yeah, and then be me, I have like... Well, I, I put some from every game of Color Splash just because uh, that's the only one I haven't played yet, but... Oh, finally, I, I played them too. We got, yes, I even gave Sticker Star two songs. I put, um, I put the final boss name from Sticker Star because that goes hard. Yes, yes, I did, yes, I did that too. I think I, I put don't... the Mega Sparkle Boomba theme. Jacob, are you, can I ask you a question? Are you one of those, like, fans where you're like, even if there's like a good thing of Sticker Star, you're still like, well, it's probably Sticker Star, so it doesn't count. <laughs> or, like, you admit, no! Or do you just admit that, or can you admit that Sticker Star has good qualities to it? Uh... <laughs> Jacob? Um, Answer the question. How to do, like, the At least it doesn't have white outlines. <laughs> so you are one of those fans, but you can't admit good things about Sticker Star because it's Sticker Star at the end of the day. I mean, yeah, Sticker Star has some good things. Like, it doesn't have white outlines, it has good music, and... Yeah, but that's, like, basically a given for... For Paper Mario, though. Uh, um, and also, uh, they brought back Gooper Blooper. That's pretty cool. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess that's something. Oh, yeah, you mean that one boss in Sunshine that you just kind of killed three times and never thought about again? Yeah. Well, that's not true. He was in Mario Power Tennis. <laughs> Nobody cares about Mario Power Tennis, but yeah. <laughs> yeah who cares about that game? I don't know. Alright, time to I smash, smash the cannon. Game. Smashing! Oh fuck, there are a lot of fuzzies. Let's go. Oh, they're easy to avoid. Is this one of those cases where I cannot run? Nope, you can't run. So if you run into one, uh... Oh no! Oh no! Um... Am I gonna run out of time? <laughs> Wait, are you actually gonna... It's time -based? I only have 40 seconds left. I hope I, I I hope I can get through this in time. I mean, how else was I supposed to do this quickly? I used like yeah. you can't. And why are the fuzzies not dead? What do you mean they split into smaller enemies? Huh? Okay. Well, I've, I've got five minutes left. What? I, I'm not- I'm not doing this in time. I'm not gonna do this in time. I can't- I just can't get through this. I gotta redo this mission, bro. Why do the fuzzies have so much? I don't remember this being- I don't remember this mission being so shitty. Stuff. I don't think it's shitty, Jacob. I think it's just you suck at the game. I don't- I don't like this. <laughs> That's right, we're gonna cheat. And it doesn't refill your health, either. That's <laughs> right, we're gonna cheat, we're gonna skip to the end of the game. This is gonna take longer than the final boss. Hey, at least it's 3 XP, game. guys! Hey, Jake, can I ask you a question? What? Which, which Mario RPG do you think has the best boss fight out of them all? The best boss cast? No, best boss fight. We can do boss cast afterwards if you want. Oh, best boss fight. Mm. Mm, I don't know. Really, really it's really Dream hard to team. Oh, really, yeah. Which one is the Dream team? Bowser is so fucking amazing. Dreamy Bowser is peak. Let's go. No, I'm I'm not oh. the giant fight against Bowser. That shit, that shit is really fucking awesome. Dude, do we count those? Do those count? I count them. I'd I'd count those. Which one do you think has the worst boss fight? Oh. Uh, uh like, probably all those... either Sticker Star or Color Splash. Oh, I got all, out of all, okay. the... all right, what if I take it out of the paper oh, game for Mario RPG? It's just the Mario and Luigi game. Which Mario and Luigi game has the worst boss fight? All the paper crap probably, bosses. Probably Remake Superstar Saga. I don't like what they did with Ludwig. I like the Ludwig change. Did you uh, like what they did with Ludwig in the Superstar Saga remake? No. 
I liked it when he had an actual boss fight instead of just a hey dodge this shit loser. No, I'm not. I'm not just salt salty. I failed that more times than I'd like to admit. I got a first try. How did you suck so many times? I don't know. I did it like. Because I was two bows on the fucking counter and that I forgot to counter at the end. I would I would often die before getting to the final one. You know. I need to do, like, the fastest possible bros attacks. <laughs> so, I don't know, um... Paper Mario, you you are not- you are not fast at all. Okay, Luigi's level 35 somehow. If you guys need us. I'll do Drop Chopper, because okay, that's I pretty fast. Left and I just made it over the bridge. You just oh, made it over um, the bridge? I got you. You, yeah. But how do you do the bridge so quickly? Area of attack. Attacks. Like bomb derby? Cause that's what I've been doing this whole time. Yeah. You know what's funny? I actually finally got was able to get like the audio routing on my mic to work. Nice. So now I can hear like my audio quality and and you guys at the same time. Alright, I'm going to, um, I'm just gonna do Toad Trail again. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to kill that damn, uh, Mega, I'm gonna have to kill that Chain Chomp, bro. I gotta do this faster go somehow. Go I'll go for the Shy Guy? Oh shit, you're right. Why didn't I do that? Okay, I'm fine. I'll target, I, ha I haven't finished Toad Trail yet, so I'll target the Shy Guy. Okay, I somehow avoided all the fuzzies. Die, Shy Guy. Die, shy guy. You don't belong in this world. And he lived. Fuck. How did you suck at that, Jacob? What do you mean? Come on, that wasn't that hard. That that was like and a half left. Oh, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Okay, we got two minutes left. This is way better. I literally just smashed the fucking cannon. Are you- are you for- Am right. I ahead of you now? Yes. Because the fucking fuzzies, I they, they're they're annoying. No, I, I I just bypassed them all. Okay, that wasn't actually as bad as I thought it would be. <laughs> There's fly guys too. The fuck? All right, screw all these enemies. I don't got time for this. Where's the cannon at? Oh, there it is. It's up. It's up the bottom. Yay! I did it. Yeah, screw you, cannon. Yeah, I still had a minute and a half left. <laughs> Who gave the shy guy 327 mm. HP? I don't know. God. I don't know. Lol, broken cannon. That might have been. That might just be the worst thing about this episode so far is that stupid cannon minigame. Really? They had the balls to put a bunch of fuzzies at the end, and if you run into them, you basically can't. You basically have to redo the whole mission. <laughs> But, yeah, I don't know how I got there without hitting any of them. Yeah, so, so I was playing Generations, and the mechanic that I always forget is in this game and Unleashed is the fact you can drift in these games. Yeah, that is really cool. Drift? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can like like Mario Kart drift, like you drift in these games. You can also drift in Sonic Frontiers, but apparently it sucks in that game. Well, oh. Sonic Frontiers didn't really do much right. <laughs> Alright guys, are you ready okay, for yeah, the I, Cody I think fight? Probably just call it a night after the Cody boss fight. Alright, if you say so. It's gonna be like the shortest episode like, ever. We still have to do the entire yeah. anime gauntlet the, and the Koopalings afterwards. Well hey hey Seb, hey Seb, you might get to be in the finale after all. Hey, after all. He just confirmed it. Yeah, he's confirmed. <laughs> yeah. Finale, how do you feel? All right, I'm gonna do this this deck. This deck is probably one of my best ones for boss fights because it has a mix it has a mix of experience cards and okay. power cards. Okay, bar okay, Mario and Luigi are 35. Paper Mario was 34, about to level up. So I'm 37. So yeah, man, you're you, under level. You, you kind of caught up. All uh, right. I just realized. Anyways, bang banger incoming. <laughs> Wait, what music did you change it to? I had my thing on stereo for the longest time. I have the Emperor oh theme from Ninja Gaiden. Oh, nice. Oh, they're so fucking slow compared to the Battle Ring version. It's so slow. 
slow. That is not the card I wanted, but okay, sure. But yeah, I was really hoping for a double power card. Like that would have been nicer. Okay, okay, let's do do damage up, no da no damage twice, and strong points up. All right, so there's a very specific angle you can get to hit the, t the Cody's with um, the Toad Trail. I'm gonna see if I can get it. Yeah, now I'm Wasn't just gonna that specific, was it? it. Well, if they got it. I just did 604 damage to Cody. Holy yeah. shit! Oh, cool. How much health do they have? Like 1,800, I think. Stay. I'm not gonna respond to that. Well, that reminds me of Makoto's persona, Johanna, and I don't like Makoto. <laughs> Good. Makoto fucking sucks. 1800? Okay, so I was close. Hmm, I don't know if I'm gonna get the excellent. Yeah, I cocked it up. I missed it last second again. Portals! Oh, they're so slow! <laughs> they're so slow, dude. And there goes my bros attacks. That's the oh, thing shit. I- Yeah, you just took my bros attacks too. That's the thing it why? Oh god. And he's doing the oh. fucking two minute attack now. The last thing I need is to hear your gapping. Oh. <laughs> relax, you relax, you can hear mine. Aw oh, shit, Cody's pissed. Wait, you were Yeah, it probably would be if we didn't have to deal with this fucking two minute long attack. <laughs> oh fuck, I wasn't ready for that. Oh no, don't, don't be. You can always talk to me. Oh. Okay, I'm used to the boss ring where it takes way longer. Wait, did you beat them already? Okay, now they're pissed. No, he just got to the pissed phase. Oh yeah, they're horrible when they're pissed. That's why you don't piss off Cody. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I always forget right, it's on Gen card. I forget that they, for some reason, just have a Sega Genesis, so you can just play Sonic 1 for some reason. Oh yeah, and I got the, the I got the twice experience, um, well, the 50% experience card. You know what? Now is actually not a bad I, not, not a bad time to use the Max Nut. <laughs> Max. Max Nut, because I don't have I don't have Bros attacks. So what's the point? What's the bloody point? Man, I just did, did nearly 200 damage to Paper Mario's jump. Well, Paper Mario's jump's actually really good. It's almost as good as a normal bros attack. I mean, if, yeah, if you want to, if you're feeling lazy, you can just get away with it. Oh, shit. Oh, okay, now we got the dry boners. Oh god. Okay, now they're doing the pissed two minute attack. <laughs> the pissed two minute attack. No, I'm serious. Like in the battle ring, this goes on for like two fucking minutes. It's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I told you it sucks. Alright, sure. Let's get some more stars. 
<laughs> There's the two minute attack. Fuck. Yeah, I there just I just did it. Yeah, I'm doing two hundred with a normal jump. That's not terrible. Remember when Fuck. I told you I'm that? Good. You remember how I told you that when we killed Ryder, that the reason he only had like two lives afterwards is because uh, because oh. they just reused lines. Luigi's dead. <laughs> oh shit. Okay, Mario's dead. You know, I'm so used to how fast they move in the in the rematch that this slow speed is fucking me up. Like actually. And the game being and easier it makes the fight down. harder. Oh, oh, and now you can get my bonus attack back. Oh yeah, that, that happens to me too. They always give you your bonus attack back once one of your bros dies. And my dry one fucking killed me. Weird. Also this is like they know. Dry one killed me because I had to carry Mario. This attack, this attack also sucks when you only have one bro alive. I guess it does. Okay, that oh my god. Good. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> well, I don't know actually. How much? How much? How much is that gonna do? Oh wait, no, I lived. I lived. Thanks for the bros attack back. That's a, I only fucked that up because I didn't have Luigi alive. Because the slow ass speed's messing me up, bro. And Paper Mario's crumpled. Oh, yeah, that's bad. It happened again. The fucking slow speed is so bad. I hate it. I can't wait till I get to the rematch because it'll actually feel normal. <laughs> All right, let's do the loom I actually died. You died. I actually got a game over. Fucking hell! Don't don't, oh don't worry. God. I'm starting my second attempt too. I hate how slow it is, bro. Stop on a dime regardless of your speed. Land on your feet and gain damage. Lose those feet in the water. Press button when go pierce the reeds. Increase on expect I get an entire break. Are you actually playing Sonic Unleashed or what? <laughs> I'm playing Generations. Ah. I mean, that's still a good game. I, I want to play that someday. I, something I, I found funny in this game is that Sonic has a line where he's like, an adventure. The adventure is not fun if it's too easy, and I'm like, dude, this game is piss easy. And I still have fun playing it. <laughs> yeah, just I mean, like, yeah, uh, this game. Five in a nutshell. <laughs> well, where's the part about lol pancakes if, if, if it's Persona 5 in a nutshell? Ooh, good damage. Okay, so it turns out uh, uh, if you redo the battle, you get the cards in the exact same order. That's weird. Yeah. Didn't know that. Yeah, because I started with the exact same cards. God, yeah, I am just the faster version for the wing attack. <laughs> yeah. That's gonna come back to bite me. Oh, Wait. God, and they're taking my version attacks again. Is it always the version attacks they take? Uh, it's whatever, what's the water, um, block you use the most. Kinda like, uh, kinda like yeah. Bowyer and Mario RPG. That's why they take their gems the second time. I didn't, I didn't, I, I didn't know, no, Bowyer was, I thought Bowyer was random. No, it's based on whatever attack you use the most. That actually makes a lot of sense. So, I can actually, I can actually do, um, an, an like, an, a scientific explanation of how that works. <laughs> they, like, track of how many attacks you use? So I can I can explain how it works. So basically, my it's fun. No. So basically, <laughs> um, I don't know I don't know if um it's the same for the remake, but at least in the SNES version, um every time you use an attack in Mario RPG and against the Bowyer fight, um it adds in a memory integer. And for example. When you use a physical attack, it increases the memory by 4, and if you use a special attack, it increases the memory by 8. 
Okay, they passed. They passed. And if you use, if you defend or use an item, it doesn't increase the memory integer. So basically, it's a lose-lose situation whether you look at it. Well, no, that's not the point. The point being is that since basically, um, at the end, at the end of his third turn, depending on what the memory integer is at, he'll then um, decide to get rid of a certain action command. Ah, okay, that's cool. So, and basically, like, he gets rid of items if you didn't attack him enough, which is kind of interesting. Okay, now they're going fast. Oh, I'm good. I got the, I got the 50% more attack. Hey, Mario. All right, I'm gonna kill Cody first, because he, he got rid of my action commands. Or my bros attacks. Get out of here! The both Cody, did it. which one? The, the normal Cody. <laughs> What's the add, The normal Cody. Not the paper one. Oh, and they're doing the two-minute attack again. Well, just your name still have a shield, so hopefully this won't be the end. Oh no, the dry bugs are probably gonna attack as well. <laughs> it's like it's like uh, Eggman and Sonic Heroes, where it's like this isn't the end. You fool! I have seventy alternative accounts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, your free, your free subscription has ended, so you must buy an account now. Two, three, four. Yeah, whatever. Does anyone ever actually buy Winrar? Nope. <laughs> no. I don't. What are they gonna do? <laughs> the regular Cody, gonna not the flaccid one. What are they gonna do? Make you pay? That loses like eighty percent of their business. Oh, and Luigi lost his perfect toggle, so he's not doing oh, much on, damage now. Oh, here comes the big boy attack. Usually, what I like to do okay, with this well, attack right, is I like to just not focus on Cody. I like to just get rid of the wall of like paper Codys. Where you can just like wail in on him. Yeah, that usually that's usually my like my what my like success way. Yeah, that's what like, I try to do as well, but I don't care, bro. As long as I hit the damn thing. Okay, let, let's treat your sure you can. Now that I have my first attack back. I mean, as long as you hit Cody, like, three or four times... Oh, I didn't hit him oh, enough, apparently. Well, no, I I'm using Trio so you can just take out the dry bones. <laughs> well, good, th good thing I had the fucking null damage card on. And yet, somehow, yeah, Paper cool. Mario got crumpled anyways. <laughs> fucking great. I think that's supposed to still happen, even if... Okay, cool. The dry, the dry bones are dead. Uh, let's use a refreshing herb. Get rid of Paper Mario status. You know, honestly, isn't do people? If I remember, yeah, I, Cody I, I considered like the hardest boss fight in the game. Paper Cody with, with a counter attack. By just fucking jumping on him. Mm, that does do a bit of damage. He's dead. <laughs> yes. He died from the, the, the normal Cody. Alright, let's go flaccid Cody. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna try to check out Paper Cody first, just because he probably has less health. Oh, I can't afford the raise my health. Alright, let's do Trio Shuriken then. Alright, let's do Trio Shuriken then. Oh, he got hit by an Iron Ball. Oh, it... come on, you're still not dead. Yeah, not gonna lie, I'm kinda glad we're ending it after this, because yeah, this fight is, is way more challenging than I thought. Even even yeah, though I, even though I practiced this fight in the battle ring, this this fight is just different enough that it's fucking well, you over. In the, in the in the battle ring, you practiced faster versions. Yeah, the faster version now the slow version is messing with me. It's like playing it's like a playing a game at F, at 50 fps. <laughs> Bill, who'd want to do that? Europeans. <laughs> All right, bye, Dragon. Sure Oh, wow, nice lucky hit. Ooh, here we go. Increase experience after battle by 50%. So I'm gonna get double experience now. Oh, come on! Actually, it's only for that- it's only for Paper Cody, but whatever. Wow, we're still alive after that, okay. Alright, here we go. Here okay, we go. okay, now the damage thing wore off. That would explain why they were doing so much damage. What, what the fuck? I'm losing my rhythm. What the hell? Oh, I'm losing your rhythm. 
I'm losing my rhythm on the fucking dreamy Luigi attack. What the hell happened there? Maybe it's because I have to take a piss really badly or something. Okay, the, hip the hitboxes on that attack are a bit weird. Well, I mean, no, Paper, Co Paper Cody's gonna practically kill himself at this rate. Well, don't have enough star points. All right, let's kill. Let's kill him. Let's kill him with a bomb derby. Cause that'll do it. Do you know he's dead? Bomb derby does crit damage. It'll kill him. Ain't no way he's surviving 648 damage. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> All right, bye, right bye, Paper Cody. So, if I'm not mistaken, they drop a rare card and, um... Is there a shocking card? Uh, I, it seems so. Oh god, more dry bones. Oh. Well. Okay, so they took Paper Mario's trio attack, but they took Mario's items and... The, and Luigi's, uh, jump... No, Mario's jump and Luigi's items. That's really weird. That's so very it, random. So it is just whatever you use the most. No, it might be whatever you used last. Cause like I used Mario's jump jump last, so, so I could get another star point to get. Okay, bye, Cody. What's it? I could have sworn you got a way better card after killing the Codys. What code? What card did you get? A shitty attack all enemies card. <laughs> Okay, thank god. Get to the okay, thought... thank god. That that counter attack worked. I could have sworn they dropped like a like a get 50% more um, Damn it. experience in coins. Damn it! I counter attack before I could use the XP card. <laughs> mm, who cares? Well, I think I already used one or two anyways. Before yeah, the technically you're the overleveled. I mean, I'm more overleveled. Got... Oh, really? I got, I got one that reduce, reduces all the damage when you emergency block. So you get a random card. That's really strange. Okay, I'm I'm star rank now. Oh, you finally made it. All right. Well, welcome to the club, Aaron. <laughs> welcome to the club. All right. Well, um. Oh, battle card discount. No, it's a bit big lucky. How much? I have seven thousand bucks. Okay, what am I gonna buy with that? Maybe I can buy out the card shop finally. Why would you want to do that? Um, I don't know. Deals damage to each of your characters for equal to up to 80% of their max HP and grants 12 star points. I'm gonna buy that, and I need, um, I need 11,000 more coins to buy out the rest of the coins in the card shop. Okay, or okay, the rest yeah, of the... I'm like, what's Why right? is that, like, <laughs> such a fixation with you? Why do you want to buy out that? Oh, hell yeah. I don't know. Okay, I'm getting quick copy. I, ha I, I don't have quick copy. I have, um, plus 10 copies. I already have plus. I think I already have max copies. No, don't you get don't you get don't you get ten copies at star rank? Yeah, you do. I di I didn't see see more copies. Well. <laughs> well, then you're an idiot. Alright, All right, so we're going to the final boss with eight copies. Uh, yeah, I don't think the bundling boots are as good as the expert boots. I mean, it does say increases striking power. You have max copies, though. So. I mean, uh, the shocking boots have the same power. It's sort of the comet boots. Yeah. I guess I can salt, salt that shit. That. Oh yeah. And the but, collector wear still sucks. Oh, the, oh, I forgot to put on the counter wear DX. The counter wear. Oh yeah, I have that. Yeah, I'm definitely doing that. You know, I, I might. I don't know if I should put on the pal gloves or not. I might put on the pal gloves in Paper Mario. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna- I'm going- I put Oh wait, no, isn't the pack right gloves. up there? I have the charge gloves, because the charge gloves are pretty good. So I guess we're calling it a day, then? Well, I'm- I'm gonna- I'm gonna go to the shop- the shop, sell- sell some shit, and probably get the masterware for Luigi, but, yeah. Okay, well, what I'm gonna do, then, is off-screen, uh, I might- actually- now, be since since I don't know when we're gonna play Paper Jam again, um, probably next, sometime next weekend. Probably Friday or Saturday. I don't know. Well, Wait. Friday I'm gonna be doing another Vengeance stream. Okay. So, like that's pretty much the only time I can actually do the, that. 
So, Saturday then? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, as long as Seb's not busy Saturday, we could fin finish this game. Yeah. When did we start this game? Um, let me see. Paper Jam. Uh, we started it back in June. Like June, June? like mid, mid of midway through June. Yeah. Yeah, we finished this in like a little bit under a month, a little bit over a month. Two months, pretty much. It's gonna be two months by the time we finish this game, which is way faster than Bowser's Inside Story. Oh wait, I I already have yeah, the Master Hammer on the Ouija. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's the Master Hammer I'm, miss I'm missing. Meh. Master Hand. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could do that. If there's anything worth buying in the shop? Um, nope. I can't. I can't buy any of this this expert shit. Like, I can't buy um the expert hammer or the shocking boots or the shocking hammer. I'll, I'll put the the master hammer on the Ouija since since the celebrity hammer doesn't have any additional mm. effects. And I'm still not gonna buy the star boots because I like the bros boots too much. Yes, okay. I know. Yes, I know. It gives me 24 extra power, but getting BP back and not having to worry about recovering BP is so nice. Yeah, that that is like really fucking huge. And it's why I'm able to. Well, and it balances out because I have the perfect power gloves on Luigi instead of something like Master Gloves, which gives him 30% pow as long as he's not taking damage in battle. So it, for the first turn, he's pretty much guaranteed to do a lot of damage. Yeah. And it's especially helpful for the battle rank because those perfect power gloves reset every battle. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me use my beans. Oh, yes. It's been it's been been a while. Well, let's let's look at my final uh, guide, my final expert challenges. So the expert challenges I need to do left to beat the game is expert mega thwonk. That's the only attack I have left to do because I can't get it yet still. And then the rest are just in special, so I have to do um. Well, obviously, we've got to do the Cody duo. Those are gonna be tough. And then King Boo, fine. King Boo S rating. There's a not. There's we a still few... haven't done that yet. Nope, because I nope. hate that fight. All right, and there's a few other. There's a few other random ones I need to do. I need to get a uh, flying start, which is start. Is coin King. K coin King, I already have. There's start two hundred battles. Talk about coin King? Well, I, I'm done Coin King. Yeah. But did you do it first? No. <laughs> but uh, that's cool. for you. so so I have. Right, cool. I'm at, I'm, at, I'm at star rank, so that's good. So I need I need to start 200 battles with an advantage. I have 164 out of 200. So that's with an advantage mean. Well, you're like, gonna be doing that a lot with the farmer boots, hopefully. Well, yeah, you have to um you have to jump on enemies, hammer them, run into them. Um, and then there's this oh, this one's also kind of annoying. So mute at me. No, I don't know. There's shiny enemy Wait. shiny enemy destroyer. So quiet. No, you seem actually. fine. Shiny enemy destroyer. You have to I, kill I, fifty I, I, I shiny like enemies. Or something. I don't know. Isn't there a way to farm shiny enemies? As far as memory serves. Yeah, I have the shiny ring, but that's something I have to grind for. So these I have to grind for because there's another one after shiny enemy destroyer, where you have to kill a hundred shiny enemies, and that's gonna take a long time. So I'm gonna do some. I'm gonna do like a stream where I just grind me playing Paper Jam, and I'm just gonna get some of these challenges and try and get the farmer boots. And that's gonna be probably its own episode. I don't know. <laughs> could be. Could be yeah, fun. Yeah, but you're gonna yeah, have, no. you should make this look like a summer show, so just like post game with Jacob. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll put, yeah. I'll, no, I'll, good luck with that. I'm not. I'm not doing the post game. I've already beaten. Beaten. Well, there's not, it's not a post game, it's just more sort of just like... 100%. Sort of 100%ing. <laughs> yeah, th there's gonna be a few episodes on my guide to 100%ing this game. Um, one of them Wait, is gonna be... you gonna make it a guide? Well, quote-unquote guide. So... Yeah, my... that's okay, that's okay. I have, I have a rejuvenation guide on how to get Avian Mylota. Alright, you do you. But my guide basically is, um, like... I'm gonna get the rest of the expert challenges in one video, and then the other another video is just gonna well, the farmer boots and some of the spare okay, expert so challenges I are think gonna be you something. Dry Bowser, the last thing you do. Yeah, I, obviously well, that honestly. is that's obviously gonna be the last thing I do. Dry the battle ring is gonna be probably its own episode. 
Makes sense. And so you're almost done with the battle run. You've done like everything off screen. You've shown me that you've done. You got. Didn't you get tow trail off screen? I did the tow. No, I did the, tra the story. I did the tow trail attackathon off screen. Yeah. And I might. I might do the megathonk one on screen or off screen. I haven't decided yet. Depends how tough it is. But yeah. But anyways, um, I think I'm probably just gonna save here, and I'll. I don't know what day of the week I'll do that. Uh, hopefully I can do it soon, because I know I'm going to be probably busy playing with people. But, yeah. That's fair. Either way. I'm, I'm going to be busy all, all week, so I'll, I'll see you on Friday then. Yeah, probably. I mean, bye bye. well, if, if, you're, if you're free to do Paper Jam on Friday, I'd love to. Otherwise, Saturday works. Okay, that's fine. All right. Uh, Maybe after my Vengeance stream. I don't know. I mean, if you do your Vengeance stream early enough, then yeah. Probably do it. But all right, I'll, hey, I'll, I'll see. Know. I'll see you guys. All right, guys. Thanks for watching Paper Jam today. We had another one of those weird one-hour, fifteen-minute streams that I hate so much. I hate it when the streams are always like exactly that length. It pisses me off. <laughs> it's such a weird number. But anyways, um, I might do one more stream tonight. I haven't decided yet. But anyways, I really need to use the bathroom, and I'm probably gonna go. I'm probably going to go practice uh, Megathwonk at some point. I, might, I mean, I might just get me expert Megathwonk off screen, honestly. So yeah, anyways guys, um, I'll see you guys then, so take care.